tonight. Super simple, very little paint. We are gonna be using our graphic marker for most of the detail work. Hello, hello. I know I'm one live woman. So I am gonna go ahead and just turn our camera down to our art piece. And I also made a little tracer for my people in the shattered circle. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip and turn my camera around. I can figure out how. Thank you for the stars. Thank you guys. So there we go. Now we'll, we'll get it down here close to our art piece. Give me a second to get caught up. I would cry too. Thank you for the stars, Christine. Thank you, thank you, Kathy. Thank you for the sprinkle. So I think you can see this, right? Give me some thumbs up if this is really nice and visible. I think I'm a little crooked. Let's try to fix that. Thank you, Charlotte. So I love this. My sister has been begging me to do a dandelion forever and I just, you know, I just, I don't know why I haven't, but last night on my um, Q&A with my membership group, I was asked to do a dandelion by a couple of the members, so I thought, let's just go for it. All right, so this is kind of what we're gonna go for. We're gonna paint us a little background. I've missed you guys too. You guys have no idea how, how stress relieving just this process is. It is wonderful. Okay, so I made a, a tracer for my Shatter Circle people, and that will be in uh, the group in the morning. So look for that. And let's see. Uh, Pat, I might can, and we are working on those kinds of things as well. So stay tuned for that. Thank you, Cloma. Thank you, Sheila, for the stars. And we actually have... Um, we may be able to ship to Canada soon. Um, I was at uh, my mastermind a couple weeks ago with Damon, and they are in cahoots with FedEx on getting us a FedEx service at a, at a discounted rate or a, 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 an affordable rate to Canada. So we are praying that that will happen. So you guys keep your fingers crossed, your arms crossed, your legs crossed, your uh, prayers, all that stuff, good thoughts that that actually happens and we will be able to service our people in Canada. I know I said that wrong. I know I did. So here is what we're using. We're gonna be working on a five by seven. So I'm gonna just set this up here so that everybody can see and uh, Hey, Debbie, glad you're here. So I wanna make sure I didn't uh, get this in the wrong place. See where I drew myself a little line on my, on my cardboard that will hopefully help. Ooh, I saw that. Did y'all see that uh, little blip? Hopefully this will help uh, me keep it straight. So, oh, Mary Beth, I'm so sorry. Oh. This will be perfect for her. I'm so sorry, love. 107 in Texas, that's a big fat no for me. So we're gonna do our background first, and I'm gonna use white, and I'm gonna put a little bit of the mermaid blue over the top of the white and give ourselves a little bit of a sky blue color. I'm gonna grab my water and my paper towel, let me get some of this debris off. And I'm just gonna squirt, it was like in the 90s here as well, but I was inside mostly just doing packing and unpacking and all that kind of stuff. I did have to go over to my old house and get some things that were gonna be going in my new house attic. And, um, it's just a constant battle. Every time I think this is the last trip, I'm like, oh no, I forgot there are things in the backyard. Oh no, I forgot there are things on the patio. Oh, I forgot there's things upstairs. So hopefully we'll get that done. So this is just a coat of white covering the entire 
canvas. Had a little bugsies in there. Woo, it is too early for 103. So this is mermaid blue. I am gonna put a little bit here because I don't want, see, this is why I put it on my paper because that is way too much. And if I had, ugh, if I had put that on my canvas, that'd be a hot mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop some of that back up because that is one of my favorite colors and I don't wanna waste it. And probably that little bit that's on my brush now is plenty for what I want. I just want a little bit of a blue sky-esque background. Nothing too fancy, just brush in a little bit of that blue. And I like it to be random, a little dark in some places, a little lighter in others. So we're gonna let that go. I'm gonna scoop the rest of that back into my bottle because I am getting tight on paint. I don't wanna have to buy some more. It's too hard to find your favorite colors. Okay, so we're, I'm gonna dry this really quick. I have my handy dandy heat gun right beside me plugged up to a different outlet this day so we don't lose any connectivity. Last night I was doing a live inside my private membership group and my phone died uh, because I can't keep that sucker charged for some reason and I could not get connected back to the internet. I've been having trouble all day today as well with the internet. So hopefully, and I have Ceasefire which is that um, fiber so it's supposed to be better so I don't know oh Connie thank you I'm happy to be back too and I cannot wait to get things even just somewhat uh, put together so I can show you guys really how pretty it is on the inside cannot wait okay we're gonna let that cool off a little bit so it's not quite so hot. So here is what we're doing. And um, I've just added some extra, do you see what the heat does to your tracer? It just curled that sucker right up, didn't it? Just from that heat. I'm gonna wait a few more seconds and have some red coffee. I missed you too, Terry. Oh, that red coffee's good today. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I did create this tracer for uh, my members, but I'm not gonna use it. I am literally gonna just sketch on what I want. I, the only thing I'm going to do is find my center. I got this tiny piece of um, tracer or um, graphite paper. I'm gonna just kind of circle in where my center is gonna go. We're gonna paint that in. And then I'm going to freehand. But I do have the tracer for those who need that. So I'm gonna put that right there. And I am going to use, where's me a plate? I need a paint plate. Let's see, this one's good. I'm gonna use a little bit of green. Red coffee is the best. A little bit of green, this is crocodile green. Just a smidgey. I'm also going to use a little bit of traditional burnt umber. Hey, Amy, how you doing? That reminded me of Joey from Friends. How you doing? So I'm just gonna get a small brush, just a small round, doesn't really matter. Um, just something small. And I am going to just pop in a little bit of that umber, just kind of saturate your brush. And I'm just gonna fill in that little circle that I just created. Don't try to make it a perfect round, all right? You don't want it to be perfect. I'm gonna rinse that off. And I'm gonna get a little bit of green. And we're just gonna come right on top and add a smidge of green to that as well. And I'm just doing my best. Yay! Yes, wine and a friend cup too. This is my friend cup. It's got all my friends on it. Okay, so now 
I'm gonna hit this with my dryer real quick because I'm gonna use my pen to do some detail work. That is the uh, Master's Touch. That is the brand name and you buy that. Thank you, Amy. You buy that at Hobby Lobby. Master's Touch is a Hobby Lobby brand and don't look at my nails, they're horrific. These are my wedding nails and they are th almost three weeks in and I really need to do something about that. So it's a Master's Touch brand. It is in the art department, not the craft department. And it's called a graphic illustration marker. And it's a 0 0.5. And we're going to use that. Go get your Jesus on, Gretchen. We're going to use that to do some detail work. So I want to get that dry. And then we'll add, we're going to add some glass to that center. And um, we're going to add some glass to the outer edges as well. But... This is going to be our friend tonight. We're gonna do our little um, dandelion stems, the little teeny thingies. I don't know what you would call them. Somebody help me out and tell me what you call all those little pieces of the dandelion. We're going to use this to do our detail. Then we're gonna hit that with a blow dryer to make sure it's really good and dry. And we're gonna dab on a little bit of white. And then we're gonna add some starfire glass and we're gonna add some bronze and a little bit of green to our center. And we're gonna keep our fingers crossed this whole time that that works out well, okay? So what I'm gonna do just freehand is add all, all these little sprigs, all these cute little seeds, thank you. All the little stems and seeds right there, all the fluff, as somebody said. And I'm using my marker, it's the teeny little head, and I'm just gonna start making my, and I'm making like, they're about an inch, maybe a little longer, and they're, they're gonna be going in all directions. Okay, so I'm starting at the center and just pull out. Don't try to make them all perfect and straight. Go all the way around, fill it up, okay? Now, while I'm doing the long ones, uh, and they are allergy aggravators, aren't they? While I'm done with the bigger ones, I'm just gonna come in and I am going to make just those little stems, those little seeds at the end, and I'm just making these, really. It's a big V and a little V in the middle, big V, little V, and you could do five. I normally am not an even number person, but we're going to roll with this. Big V, little V, and then we're going to add another layer. Big V, little V, and don't get too wrapped up in the perfection of this, okay? It's supposed to be art. It's supposed to be fun. If you're not having fun, you shouldn't be doing it. Okay, so just little V's. All right, now we're gonna come in and fill in some of the middle, okay? So I'm gonna make some shorter ones so that we can fill in the center a little. So we're just making a few shorter pieces and then we're gonna come back and do the same thing. Big V, little V. And you could, if you don't have this pen, you know, this is my cheat pen, honestly, because I am terrible with fine detail because of uh, old lady problems, arthritis. And so this just makes it a little easier for me. And honestly, it is fine. So I'm gonna just come in and add any more where I feel like I need them. Lori, this pen is a Hobby Lobby pen. It is Master's Touch, that's the name brand, and that is a Hobby Lobby brand, okay? So you're gonna go to the art department where they have all the pens and markers, and you're gonna find that there. It might be a single pen, and it might be a pack of three. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, this is a three pack of the pens, so you would get I don't know what all these sizes are, a zero one, a zero three, and a zero five. So Hobby Lobby, that's what you're gonna look for. 
All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. I might add just a few more where we got some bare spots. And then you know what I'm gonna do. We got to add a few that are loose, right? And we'll add one over here. A few floaties. Yes, you can see that up close. They're very minimal and you don't want it to be super dark because you want them to kind of fade back into the background. You don't want them to be really, really dark. Can you see that? Give me some thumbs up if you can see that much better. Let me know. Yeah, thank you, Rebecca. So yeah, you can see that now, awesome. Okay, so that's our pin. Hey, Mary Ellen, how are you, boo? What's going on in Georgia? I'm having coffee, Mary Ellen. Not. Okay, now I am going to hit this with my heat gun again, just for giggles, so that I make sure all of this ink, this is a 05, Joanne, just so all of this ink, yes, the Pigma works just as well, Carol. It's just a different brand. It's black, Janet, it's a black pen. I'm gonna hit this with my heat gun just to set that ink, okay? Yes, Mary Ellen, it's red coffee. Just wanna make sure there's no like wet ink here. And real quick, while I let that cool, I am going to do this. I'm gonna write on here, if I can find a correct pen. So we're working with a five by seven. And this pen comes from Hobby Lobby. That way we don't have to repeat. And it is a master's touch graphic. It's a 0 0.5 black. All right. How's that? <laughs> Go, girl, where are you going, Mary Ellen? Will you take me? I haven't been on vacation in three days. <laughs> Just teasing. I'm being a smart aleck now, aren't I? Okay, so I hope this helps. Another sip. Thank you, Carol. Now, what I'm gonna do is put a little white on my little palette. Hey, Christine. And I do, I want to apply some white. Can you, can y'all see me? Did I disappear? Am I, are we good? Yeah? I'm, I, I, I feel like something happened. Oh, let me pull this down some. Turn that this way. All right. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Um, I want to add white to my um, piece for um, the um, white part, I I'm sorry, for the white part of the dandelion, but I don't want it to be super solid, and I don't want it to overwhelm and co completely cover up. Okay, so I'm gonna take a paper towel, and I'm gonna get the tip of that wet a little, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna just do a little test, okay? And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna dip into my white and then I'm gonna offload onto my plate a little because I just want a very translucent like that. Very translucent white to go over the top. Oh yes, yeah, like this. And I'll show it to you close up. So wet your paper towel and then offload some of the white before you take it to your canvas. So it's not just a big blob. So just kind of dab it on something. 
Hey, Becky. And if we get some in the middle, I'm not gonna worry about that too much because I can redo that with the color. Okay, so I'm just gonna add that white without covering up, whoops, offload Cindy, without covering up too much our little seeds and spriggies. All right, I'm gonna add a little here, a little here. All right, let me show you this close up and then we're gonna color correct our center. Oh my goodness, Mary Ellen, you're gonna be a busy girl. Okay, so I'm gonna throw that away. So you can see it's super faint, okay? You are you don't wanna make big white blobs. You want it to be super faint and translucent so that you don't make all your little sprigs disappear. Sprigs is my new word for dandelion things, <laughs> okay? So now I'm just gonna add a little bit more to my center. I'm just gonna grab my brush again that I've lost. And we're just gonna pop in on the outside a little bit of that green to where we added white. Then I'm gonna get a little bit of that brown. We'll add some of that as well. We're not gonna worry about it too terrible much because we are gonna put some glass there. But I like to finish it anyway because there might be people watching who do not wanna add the glass. So um, this helps with them as well. All right, so now I'm gonna take this same brush and I'm trying to decide if I wanna use a brush or a palette knife. I need to, let me try my brush first. I might use my palette knife because I need my stem. All right, that's brown. So I added the stem in brown. Now I'm gonna go into my green. I'm gonna go right on top of it and just fatten it up a little and do the green. Little brown again, intermix your colors so nothing is just a solid color. And that looks terrible, but we're going for it anyway. So real quick, I'm gonna show you an alternative. Let's grab a palette knife. And this is just a cheapy plastic palette knife from Hobby Lobby. And it's the, uh, tr the diamond head one. So I'm gonna go in and what I'm gonna do is just lay the side of my blade. See how it's only on one side? I'm laying the side of my blade in that color, just dab, 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 okay? And you can see how it makes a little line. See that? So now what I can do is come in and make some, well, I, I messed that up, but we're go, it doesn't matter. We're going for it anyway. So do it again. I'm gonna go into the brown. I'm having a hot flash. So I'm gonna blame it on that. <laughs> And I'm gonna add uh, another line. I need to stick to, this canvas is dipping down in the middle. I'm gonna use that as my excuse as well. And we're gonna just add some other stems. Okay, we'll go in the green. And that looks terrible. Hang on. Going into my green again. We're just gonna do a little correction here because my canvas is dipping in the middle. It's kinda not laying flat. So we're just gonna futz with this a little. And y'all know me, I'm not, I am not even stressing about this. Uh, mess that I've made here because I promise nobody cares. I'm gonna add that. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna hit this with my heat again because I'm not hot and sweaty enough. Let's get that dry. I'm gonna use my pen again and do one more little thing. And not that one. That one. I'm gonna outline these little stems, which kind of helps with how jacked up they are. Just also add some extra dimension. All right. And I'm also going to add another couple of those little thingies. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna tell you this. I feel like the white, once it's dry, has kind of diminished a little. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna wet my paper towel again offload some of that water and I'm going to do a little bit more white around the edge. I'm going to um, avoid my center this time. So dip it in some white and then just offload it on your plate or something so you're not applying too much white and just start dabbing on here and there. We are gonna be uh, putting glass on this too, so I'm being a little anal. So don't stress it. All right, I'm letting it go. Okay. Oh, <laughs> let's see. The heat gun is no name. It is just a cheap, off-brand, uh, heat gun from Amazon. It was like 14 bucks. Just a real cheap thing. Okay, so let's see. Let's move this. Let's have a little sippage of red coffee. Now what I have here is some bronze glass. And I also brought a little bit of green. So we're gonna do a little bit of both of those in our center. Then we're just gonna randomly add in some of this Starfire just inside our dandelion, okay? Nothing too fancy. And then we'll add one little bit of the Starfire on the little floaties. So let me grab my glue that I've lost because I am gonna put a little bit of glue in the center, just a dot or two, just to keep that intact. And we'll dump out so we can find some littles. I love these pieces like this. You could use those for so much fun stuff, but not this day. So I'm gonna add a few little bronze pieces on one side. One more, I need it small enough. This glass that I've been getting lately is just bigger than normal. They're not, it's not breaking in the tiny pieces. They're a little bigger and it's driving me crazy. I'm trying to go with the flow, but it is kind of making me a little crazy. A little crazy, doesn't take much though. All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of this green and I'm gonna add that to the other side of the center. Just for a little pop of color. Get in there, right on top. All right, give that some dimension. I'll show you that close up as soon as we get the resin on. Okay, so now we have Starfire this is perfectly clear, super clear, and no color at all. And it's got a lot of big pieces too. So I'm gonna try to dump some of those out of my hand because I don't want those. I really want uh, to keep most of these smaller. 
So I'm gonna kind of filter out some of the great big pieces, you know, like this. I do sell glass at artshatter.com. Thank you for supporting my small business. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you for um, buying from me when you can. I appreciate that. I have 24 colors that we sell at artshatter.com. So thanks for that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take some of these smaller bits and I am just gonna scatter them, not that one, around. And I'll pick off some of the ones that are a little too big. I'm gonna scatter them around. We'll put one there, little baby one here. A little baby one here, here, and here. And I'm just gonna pick out some of the smaller. And I wanna show you a couple of other options too. That's too big. These will work. Yay, Deanna, thank you for buying from me. I appreciate that. When you purchase from me, you're helping a family and not a corporation. Appreciate you guys. You're helping me pay my house notes and pay, the, pay for that wedding I just had to pay for. I didn't have to pay for that. It was a concerted effort between everyone. Okay, so I'm pretty much digging this, but I do want to show you another thing you could do. <laughs> That's right, Sandy. I do try to get uh, my orders out within 24 hours. On the weekends, not so much, uh, but uh, if you order Sunday through Wednesday, you pretty much will get, is it frozen? Not frozen on my end. If you order on the weekends, you will get your order. It'll ship out within 24 hours. Okay, so I wanted to show you this too because I was thinking once I've already once I'd already kind of decided what I was gonna do. I was thinking this would be super cool too. If you have vitrograph, these little pieces of string glass. If you broke off some of the little pieces of the strings and to like one inch strands and put them, you could just add glue around the edges. You could also use that in your um, dandelion. That would be really cool as well. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna do that, but I just thought it would be an option for you guys. So I'd love if someone does try using the vitrograph for that, I would love to see what you do. Okay, so I'm gonna move this and I'm gonna get ready for a resin. Let's get some cups. And I think we don't have much going on here. So I think we're going to make, let's see, let me find my marker. We're gonna make a quarter ounce Yes, we're gonna make, that's probably not enough. Oh, I have something I need. To, yes, vitrograph for the stem would be good, except for I have used all of my green and my brown, so I don't have any vitrograph. I need to place an order, but I do have a cross to fix that uh, my friend broke this little cross. So she asked me if I could fix it, so I am gonna repair that. I'm gonna put a little bit of resin there, put that back together for her. I'm gonna leave that there so I will remember. So I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick with, uh, all right, I'm gonna stick with quarter ounce. We'll see what happens. If it's not enough, we'll just be in trouble. So we're gonna do an eighth of an ounce on that one. And an eighth of an ounce on that one. And then we're gonna get our gloves on. Uh, 
Uh, you could do that, Cindy, but I think the fishing line is going to get lost in the resin. I think uh, it's going to be too fine, and you're not going to be able to see it once you put the resin on unless it was super thick fishing line. So I'm going to glove up, and we're going to pour some resin. So I took the gloves home that fit. I took them home when I was doing my son's backdrop for his wedding and I keep forgetting to bring them back. So I have these gloves that are for a giant and they're driving me crazy. All right, so I'm gonna pour my resin. This is the uh, hardener. So I'm gonna pour my eighth of an ounce of hardener in one cup very slowly so I don't over pour. Let me stop. And loud truck outside. We'll do the same with the resin. I wish I had some green vitrograph, I think, or even brown. I think that would look good with this, but using what I have today. One little more drop. Oh, that's plenty. Okay. Let me grab my stir sticky thingy. So I'm gonna put one into the other since we have plenty of space. We're gonna just mix these together in one cup. Make sure you get all that goodness out. You don't wanna miss any, don't leave any behind. I didn't see if Catherine or Rima was here. So can, is there somebody here who can time me so I can be chitty chatty? We'll dump that because we gotta mix this for three minutes so we're gonna stir it up and we're gonna scrape the sides very slowly you don't want to beat it to death because if you go really fast and whip it really fast you're incorporating a lot of bubbles in thank you Amy you're incorporating a lot of bubbles into your resin and they're super hard to pop when you incorporate that many okay so you're gonna to want to stir really slow I don't think we have to worry about cold. I do not sell Vitrograph, Sylvia, but you can buy it on Etsy. There are several uh, sellers on Etsy. Uh, we uh, buy from JL Glass, but uh, there are several if they don't have the color you want. So Etsy is where we get it. I love daffodils too. We're gonna stir this for three minutes. It's probably overkill for a quarter ounce, but we're gonna follow the directions and act right. We're gonna be we're gonna be good, and we're just gonna slowly stir. So if anybody has any questions, now is the time to ask because you got my attention. I know my um, iPad, which is what I'm reading from, is. Um, has about a 30 second lag. So if you ask your question and I ignore you for 30 or 45 seconds, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because it didn't pop up yet. Have you heard of or used liquid glass? I have not heard of or used liquid glass. Tell me more, Terry. I'm assuming it is a resin. I have not updated the Facebook page tutorial yet. Um, you know, I'm sorry, Christine. I've just been crazy busy with the wedding and the move and mastermind, but I will get that done as soon as possible. I'm sorry. Yes, uh, JL Glass has an Etsy page and a Facebook page. They're super awesome. Hey, Bev. You'll have to point that out to me, Terry, so I can check it out. I 
feel like I haven't been able to breathe in like three months. Between working and trying to just get every keep up and get everything done and weddings and my son moved right before the wedding and then I moved right after the wedding and things have been crazy. And I feel like I can breathe a little bit now, even though, you know, I'm living in, you know, boxdom. <laughs> so, um, I do have some fun things coming up, Jennifer, for uh, uh, patriotic uh, stuff. Uh, in the group, we're doing a Stars and Stripes fun little thing. And um, just stay tuned. And we're going to be doing, I always like, thank you, Tina. <laughs> We're, we're always going to be doing fun, patriotic stuff between um, between uh, Memorial Day and 4th of July. So, Pam just said, I did get an email from Art Resin Pam and completely ignored it because my life is chaos. But Pam says, order Art Resin before June 1st because their prices are going up. Huh. Oh, okay, Lori, I see. Okay, so I'm going to start drizzling on. I'm glad I just made a quarter ounce because it's going to be plenty. So I'm just going to start drizzling on all my little nuggets. It's super hard. It's, you know, it's kind of time consuming when you spread all your little glass bits out this way. But Obviously, that needed to happen for this piece. Because, um, you know, you have to make sure you get every nugget covered. Ugh. And you want to have enough left over to spread around. There's one there. One there, one there, and one there. And we have just a little left. I'm gonna fill in some holes here. Make sure it's all covered in there. I can scooch some things around if I need to. So my new house has a gas stove and I have used a gas stove or I've had a home, a rented home with a gas stove before, but I didn't really cook on it much. So I'm learning a whole new thing because I don't know if you've used a gas stove before, but it's completely different <laughs> because I almost burned dinner the other night, my first dinner on my new gas stove. I almost burned it because psh, I don't know how to cook on a gas stove. So if y'all have pointers, I'd love to hear them. So we're scrape all that out and that was the perfect amount. I'm gonna clean that off. Now I'm just going to love, I'm just going, I'm gonna love. Lisa, I was reading your comment, I love gas. And I said, and I was about to say, I'm just gonna love the resin. I will love the resin. Yes, Phyllis, I almost burned, I, I made uh, spaghetti pasta, and I almost burned the spaghetti sauce, like, quick. I was like, what is happening? So I'm just spreading that resin around to all the bare spots. And don't worry if you wiggle a couple of little nuggets out of place. You can always just push them back in where they need to be, like that one right there is not in its place. Go around your edge. And... I like to hit right on the outside edge of my piece to make sure I just kind of feel like it helps for, keep things from going over the edge, but there's not uh, too much resin on this piece, so it should be fine. So I'm gonna use my little stick to move my nuggets around, my little glass bits, 
where I shifted them a little when I was pushing the resin around. And this is super cool. You know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna hit it with my heat gun, and then, or my torch, one or the other. Then I'm actually gonna throw some bubbles on there. Went from electric to gas and didn't like the gas. Oh no! Did you burn a lot of stuff? Is that why? <laughs> yeah, I almost burnt my food up so fast. Straight on the eye to char. Oh, that's cool. So I'm gonna hit this with a heat gun just to pop any uh, bubbles that um, might have uh, cre been created with the stirring and mixing. You can also use a, a propane torch. Normally I do, but mine's on the other side of the room. And you could use like a little kitchen torch. That looks pretty good. This is so cute, guys. I'm gonna show you close up. I'm gonna turn it a little so you can see. Can you see that? So cute. It looks, I'm looking at the picture on the screen and I'm looking at it in person and it totally looks better in person. It really shows up really nicely. Uh, Sylvia, I think that the torch works better, uh, but the heat gun is sufficient. But if you find that you are getting a lot of bubbles in your art pieces, you might wanna try a torch. Okay, let's see. If you use medium to high on electric stove, bump it down to medium on gas. Everything cooks quicker. Yes, it does. I'm telling you, I was panicking. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a few little bubbles and just add those as well. I may scooch them around. And I normally I would just drop them, but I'm gonna kind of place a few where I want them instead of dropping them random. I'm just gonna kind of drop them where I want them to be. Probably would be better if I just dropped them random, but I'm being a little bit of a control freak today. Oops, get there. Get a couple more. And I'll show you this close up too because this kind of filled in some bare spots. And I'm digging it. Oops. So we'll get we'll get this close up as well. Let me flip that one. He landed on his head. Normally I don't flip them either. I'll let them be what they are, but we'll fix that one. All right. Check out that dandelion. Is that not cute? 